If the baby is born very premature, and especially if the weight is less than one kilo, we look after the baby in a machine like this called as incubator. This is a special type of machine where the temperature inside the incubator is maintained within a very narrow range which is suitable for the baby. Also, we have the facilities to increase the humidity because many of these babies have such immature skin that they lose a lot of water through the skin. So we provide the correct temperature and the correct humidity so that the baby can comfortably lie down and sleep as though it were in the womb. For babies who are bigger in size and are less sick, we have these radiant warmers where the temperature is controlled by using a radiant heat source which warms the baby up. The advantage of this is of course, we have clear access to the baby in all three sides. So depending on the requirement of your baby, sometimes the baby may be kept in the incubator as you saw previously or under a radiant warmer. These two devices help to keep the baby warm which is the first step in looking after very sick and premature babies. In addition to this, most of the babies on almost all of them are on what are called as monitors. These monitors give us a lot of parameters like saturation, heart rate, and sometimes ECG, invasive blood pressure, and many other parameters as the need may be. So these monitors help us tell how the baby's vital parameters are, and it helps us to decide on what sort of treatment the baby requires. The next most important thing is provision of additional oxygen. For that, we will show you some machines which we use, the most important of which is the ventilator. If the baby requires additional oxygen, we sometimes provide it, especially in the delivery room or and for short intervals here with a machine like this. This is also called as a T-piece resuscitator and it helps us to give the correct amount of oxygen as well as at the correct pressure that the baby requires it. In very simple ways, this is a machine which helps artificial breathing and is also called as a mechanical resuscitator. Very similar to this but more sophisticated are machines called as ventilators which we use day in and day out in our NICU. If the baby is very sick and not breathing on its own, we use a machine like this which is called as a ventilator. The ventilator is also called as a respirator or an artificial breathing machine and this allows us to provide air oxygen combinations based on the lung disease we are able to give it in different ways both invasive as well as non-invasive to help the baby to breathe the sicker the baby the higher the requirement for the ventilator there are higher and higher settings in it like the high frequency and these may be used in your baby if the baby is very sick as the baby improves we go down to lower settings conventional ventilation non-invasive ventilation and so on till finally the baby is able to breathe on its own. As you can see, the multi monitor here also helps us guide as to how much oxygen the baby requires so that we are able to keep the heart rate, blood pressure and the breathing rate within the acceptable norms. So this is the heart of the NICU and this involves a lot of sophisticated gadgetry but which helps us closely monitor your baby and take care of the requirements of breathing as well as the circulation. Babies who cannot feed, we provide what is called as total parental nutrition or TPN, which is intravenous feeding, where we give the baby fats, proteins, and glucose solution at a correct rate so that we can help the baby to have nutrition so that it can fight the disease. Once the babies are able to take their own milk, we are able to provide mother's own milk as well as we have a human milk bank where we are able to get milk from other mothers who have donated, who have been kind enough to donate once the babies are older and that milk can be fed to the babies after pasteurization. So intravenous as well as oral feeding sometimes may go on hand in hand in your baby or if the baby is very ill, sometimes we maintain with just intravenous nutrition.